Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a new building using the building wizard. I'm just going to click one, two, three, four, five clicks, six clicks and there's my new building set to the specification. Now that was too fast so what I'm going to do is actually run through that step by step. So, first we select the building wizard. Next step is enter project data. This is an optional step and for most projects you won't need that until you start to create um, reports and then this detail actually appears in there. You can actually add this detail later anyway. So we go for next. Here we've got the ability to set the measurement system. We'll keep it to meters, the grid height, the scale, um, whether you want a 3D view or not, and of course the building shape. And we'll keep the same building shape here. Now having this box here ticked will actually select all of these options as default in the next project. Here we have the option to define these dimensions in this shape and we can set whether these are external or internal dimensions Mostly you'll use internal dimensions. You set the wall thickness, the floor height, and next. We'll select the fact this building has two floors. Next. Other options to set the facing of the building. Important if you want to have shadows. Um, if you know your ridge height, you can enter that here. Then you select the roof style. You can actually change the roof styles just by clicking here and we'll keep this to gable and you can set your roof pitch and your overhang we'll have that as 0.3 and next to finish and we can then place our building let's move this we can see that we can place the building in the 2D view or the 3D view. Let's place it there. And there's our building completed. And all you need to do now is add the internal walls and doors and windows. And we can zoom in here. Let's turn off the environment for that view and zoom right in. Select the ground floor and in fact we can turn off the other floors do the same for this, turn off the other floors so we can just look at the 2D view and we would select our windows and choose your window style let's use a smaller window here and you can just place your windows doors you can also do the same in the 3D view you can place doors and windows here again you select your door or window and then you just place the door where you want it and you would do the same for your next story up. If you don't want to see the roof timbers, simple, just select the roof. Oh, you've got to be on that attic to select the roof. Double click the roof and select the gable details. And we do we want to see the visible purlins? The answer is no. If the overhang is over, um, let's say, 1.0 meters which we know it's not, so they'll just disappear. So, then to add our internal walls, like so. So, you see, you, even first time users can now quickly build a building with just a very few clicks. 
and then beyond that you've got the full features of visual building to actually edit the roof, the doors, the windows, the landscape, everything else you need to do. But you can very quickly get started using the new project, project wizard and building wizard. This feature is new to visual building version 4 and is applicable to all versions including visual building light, basic, professional and premium versions. Thank you very much.